New intense swastikas on the side of several vehicles in the city of Berkeley, leaving people in that community disappointed tonight. I never believed that a hate crime would occur, but now that it has, it kind of doesn't surprise me. There's, there's just too much anger out there. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Jana Katsuyama. Police tonight are investigating that vandalism in Berkeley as a hate crime. Those vehicles targeted in the case were parked on Monterey Avenue in North Berkeley. New at 10, KTVU's Alyssa Harrington live for us there in the city after speaking with one of the residents affected. Alyssa. Well, Mike Jana, that resident is Jewish, has lived here in Berkeley for decades and never expected a hate crime to happen right in front of his home. He said he wants to get the word out in case this story helps find the person responsible. Jules Cragen shows us the disturbing sight he found on the side of his car early Sunday morning, a large swastika carved into the passenger door. I'd like them to know that, that this symbol was a symbol of mass murder and that many people were killed uh, in view of this symbol and what it represents, and it, it's not a joke. Three cars in a row parked on Monterey Avenue in North Berkeley were vandalized. A fourth car had a window smashed by a brick. Jewish families live in at least two of the households impacted. For me, it's very personal in that um, my parents were in the Holocaust, uh, eight of my aunts and uncles and three out of the four grand, you know, parents were killed. So it evoked a lot of sadness in me that this sort of racist behavior is still going on. Police say they are investigating these as hate crimes. Yeah, hate crimes are a priority for the city of Berkeley Police Department. Uh, it's a priority for the entire city. Officer Byron White with the Berkeley Police Department said they don't have any suspect information. Police are asking neighbors to look through security video from the overnight hour Saturday through Sunday morning. The side of that alone, understandably, is, is very harmful to the community, hurtful. Berkeley's mayor, Jesse Aragin, sent us a statement. Part of it reads, a crime against one of us is a crime against all of us. I stand in solidarity with our vibrant Jewish community, and I'm coordinating closely with police to ensure the individual who carried out this cowardly display of hate is held accountable. Cragen said it's going to cost at least $1,000 to repair the damage to his car. In the meantime, he's covering the swastika with a piece of cardboard. His neighbors covered theirs with tape. Cragen said he does not know if he was targeted, but support from the community has helped. People have spoken out in solidarity and condemned the act for what it is. And uh, it's really, it's wonderful to live in a community like this where uh, racism, anti-Semitism, xenophobia uh, are not tolerated. Police say they are taking this very seriously and they want anyone who lives in that neighborhood who might have seen someone suspicious either Saturday night or Sunday morning to give them a call. Reporting live in Berkeley, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And let's hope those tips come in. All right, Alyssa, thank you.